Let's generate a credential report. So on the bottom left, I'm going to create a credential report and I can click on the load report to just download this report and this will be a CSV file. Now this CSV, because I'm using a training account, is not fascinating, but as we can see, we have two rows in it. We have my road account and my account name Stefan. We can see when the user was created, if the password was enabled, when the password was last used and last changed, when is the next rotation to be expected if we do enable password rotation? Is MFA active? So we can see it's active for my root account, but it is not active for my Stefan account. Then access keys, are they generated or not? Yes, they're created for my Stefan account, but not for my root account. And when were they last rotated, last used, and so on. You can get more information about other access keys and certificates and so on. So this report is extremely helpful if you want to look at some users that haven't been changing the password or using it or their account. It could be really giving you a great way to find which users that deserve your attention from a security standpoint. Next, I want to look at IM Access Advisor. So I'm going to click on my user. My user is Stefan and the right hand side, it says Access Advisor. So this is going to show me when some services were last used and the recent activity usually appears within four hours. So if you don't see all the data, that's why. So we can see that, for example, identity and access management was last accessed today, thanks to this policy right here. And also the health APIs and notifications were accessed today. Why? Well, this is a little bell right here. Automatically will be accessed to see if there are any notifications for your accounts. And we'll see what this is. This is the personal health dashboard, okay? But for the other services, for example, Alexa for Business, or AWS accounts or certificates manager, I haven't been using them. And so maybe it makes sense for me to remove these permissions from this user because it seems that this user is not using these services. So this is the whole power of Access Advisor. And as you can see, there are lots of services in AWS, about 23 pages just like this. So this is about 230 services in AWS at the time of recording. So quite a lot to learn, but don't worry, we'll get to cover it and we've just seen all the ways we can have security tools on IAM. I hope you like this lecture, and I will see you in the next lecture.